Here we have all of our ingredients. There's horseradish, ginger, an onion, jalapeno peppers, and serrano peppers. Over here we have Jamaican hot peppers, very colorful, turmeric powder, garlic cloves, a whole bunch of those, and apple cider vinegar. So here I've chopped up all of the ingredients ready to go in the blender. I chopped them up in small pieces, you know, except for the garlic because it's really small. So yeah, we have everything all chopped up and ready to go inside of the blender. I also want to state that turmeric stains your blender. So here you're just adding everything to the blender, all of them. And I didn't chop up the Jamaican hot peppers because they're pretty small. So yeah, I would say do not stuff <laughs> the blender like I did because it needs a lot of space to break down everything, but I got it done. So, but future preference, do not stuff the blender. So I took some of the mixture out of the blender so that the other pieces can blend being that I did stuff the blender. But here you can see that it has a paste to it and that's exactly what it's supposed to have. Except I'm just only supposed to blend it a little bit more which I later on did so it's not really a problem but um, yeah that's why you see pieces of garlic and onion. But in here under those under all of that there are big pieces of horseradish, onion, jalapeno and garlic cloves. So here I added the last ingredient, which is turmeric. Um, I added, basically I eyeballed it. I did finish the bag. I had um, some leftover from my last video. So I just added the rest of it. I would say, I don't know how many teaspoons or tablespoons that is, but add as much as you want to. So yeah, I just added that and then I ended up just blending it up after I added the apple cider vinegar, of course. So this is the paste that you want, definitely. You want to be able to pick it up, bend it over, and it'll take some time to fall off the spoon. So yeah, that is the paste that you want. You don't want it to be a smoothie, but you want it to be a paste. And that's exactly what we got here. So yay.
So I decided to put water and dish soap inside of the blender and blend it up, which is a very dumb idea. Do not do that because it started spilling over the side. So yeah. So here we go with our finished product. Yes, we are finally finished with making our tonic and it's at a pace that we definitely desire. That is the pace that you want. So we're just gonna put them in these jars I found these jars at Dollar Tree. I wanted bigger ones, at least like 64 ounce jars, but couldn't find them. Didn't feel like going to Costco's, so I just picked these up. But we're just gonna put them in there. And after that, we are just gonna close them and set them aside. So after I was done with all of these, I labeled them and I'm going to be storing them in my cabinet or somewhere for a very long time.